Hi, my Kayla crew, welcome back. So I'm dog sitting and I brought two boxes. Actually, no, I brought three boxes to share with you guys. I started off with our favorite Stitch Fix. Yep, I have another Stitch Fix to share with you. It's empty. I had to take everything out of the box because the postmen, I think, were playing football with my box. Look how banged up it is. So I wanted to make sure everything arrived okay. Luckily, it did. So we're going to dig in and see what my stylist, Amanda, sent me. Last box was a five for five. She sent me some really awesome pieces. She watches my videos. And you know what? I forgot to mention this last time. She's a leopard print lover too. So we have a lot in common. So she gets me. So let's see what she sent in this box. And happy new year. I forgot to tell you guys, happy new year. I hope you all had a wonderful new year's Eve and new year's day. You might see this on new year's day. I'm taping it new year's day. So if I can get it up today, I will. It's been a while. It's been a crazy busy week for some reason between work and just a lot of stuff going on. So I'm happy to be back and filming. So I missed you guys. I always miss chatting with you guys in the comment section and I'm still catching up and I'll get there. So bear with me. All right, so let's talk about this first top that I tried on. This is by Daniel Rain. Now, this is the Janine Cold Shoulder Pullover in Burgundy, $68. And the fabric, I know I was going to forget the fabric, but we can look at the tag. <laughs> That's the beauty of these side-by-sides, isn't it? Is I can look at the tag with you if I forget. <laughs> I think it was 80 viscose, 20 nylon. Let me just make sure that I'm telling you the right info. Okay. Yeah, 80 viscose and 20 nylon. So I love the color of this top. I think it's really pretty. I do know that Daniel Rain is expensive or a little bit more pricey. I do own a couple pieces by Daniel Rain and I like his pieces, but I just feel like it's a little bit pricey for something like this. Don't you think so? Or is it just me being picky? It could be me being picky. <laughs> it's a new year. Hey. <laughs> So anyway, I do really like this. I love the color. I just don't know if I was crazy about the size of the, sh the cold shoulder. Like I kind of felt like it should be a little bit bigger maybe. I don't know. That's just me. You guys know I'm not over the cold shoulder look. Nope, I'm not. I'll continue wearing it. So yeah, I really like the concept. I just think it wasn't completely right and I can't put my finger on it. I think it's because of the size of the holes maybe. I don't know, I could be wrong. And the price, I just feel like maybe, maybe if this top was in the 40s, I would keep it. And I'm all for buying something that's a little bit more pricey, splurging on something special, but I wouldn't splurge on something like this. I just, I like the floral print, I like the colors, but it's just not screaming, keep me. So I am going to send this one back. Let's see what I tried on next. Okay, up next is a blouse that was almost perfect. You know, I'm thinking about this one, but there's a few things about this one that's bothering me, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. If you're watching, well, while you're watching, and if you know me, you probably know what's bothering me because it's probably bothering some of you too. <laughs> it's just the OCD. I just can't help myself. Okay, let me tell you what it is. It's by Fortune and Ivy. It's the Cristel button-down blouse in dark green. The color is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. Oh, so pretty. And I actually love the pattern as well. This is $42 and I think it's 100% polyester. It feels 100% polyester. And it's 100, oh, wait a minute. Yep, it's 100% polyester. So isn't this blouse gorgeous? Okay, it's got a collared neckline, which I don't have a lot of blouses that have a collared neckline. It is a button down blouse. Okay, I gave it two thumbs up for no gaping. Because a lot of times with the button down tops, I've got the gaping problem. So love that it didn't have that. It was a three quarter length sleeve and you showed me, I showed you where I took the button down on one of the sleeves, but it doesn't really look right. So I think I'd keep it tabbed. I don't mind tab sleeves. I know some of you guys don't like the tab sleeves, but that doesn't bother me. I don't mind that. Um, I love that the buttons are the same color as the top, but do you see where there's something wrong? Okay, I'll give you a second. Yeah, the pocket, like, I just don't, I don't know. I don't mind the pocket, but it's just not lined up. I wonder if I could take the pocket off, like with a seam ripper. I wonder if that would work, but you know what else? The seams on, like the, where buttons, see the pattern? I don't know. It, am I being too nitpicky? <laughs> you guys can tell me, I don't mind. I mean, I love the blouse other than, 
those two things, the pocket and the, I should say the pocket placement and the seam down, the, not the seam, but you guys know what I mean? So I think this would be a really cute work blouse and it adds something different to my wardrobe. I know I said I'm good with blouses, but I really, I don't have a lot of collared blouses. So I like that. And I like that it's, you know, the V neck. So, and the color is just gorgeous. Loving this color lately, really loving this color. And I think the pattern is really pretty too. Okay, the price isn't bad. Let me know, should I settle or should I pass? I'm on the fence about this one. All right, let's see what I put on next. Okay, so next up we've got another blouse by Fortune and Ivy. This one is the Colin Mixed Material Blouse in Black. It is $42. So the back of the blouse, since I showed you that first, <laughs> is 95% rayon and 5% spandex and the front is 100% polyester. Now the fabric, um, the fabric, the color is really nice. I don't know if I'm crazy about the pattern. I do like that it has a V neck and I didn't show you this because I didn't see it until I took it off. It's got the three buttons. They're not functional buttons, but they're three buttons right here. Can you see those? They really blend in with the pattern of the blouse, which you guys know I like when it does that, I really do. I like when the buttons blend in. I think that's such a good touch. I don't know why that really makes me happy. <laughs> so I do like the neckline. The tie sleeves don't bother me. Where are the sleeves? There's the sleeve. So it doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some of you guys. It doesn't really bother me, but you know what? I don't know. It's just the back that's throwing me off. I don't care for the solid back on this one. Sometimes I like a mixed material blouse. Sometimes I don't. I think sometimes they work on tops better than others. It depends on the pattern, depends on the colors. So for me, this one, I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it. So there's nothing wrong with it. It would be a good work blouse if you like the mixed material and this one, but I don't know. I'm not going to keep this one. It's not screaming keep me. So this one's going to go back too. Some easy decision in this box, don't we? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I've got a jacket, so let's see what that looks like. Can you see me in that jacket? <laughs> I feel like it overwhelmed me a bit, but I feel like it's a bit big. Now, I think it's really pretty. I like the style of it, but you know what? I have a jacket in this color. It's a very similar jacket. I'm not home, otherwise I'd show you. It's an olive green jacket, and it's pretty much the same style. I mean, a little bit different. Let's talk about it. So this one is by Coffee Shop. It's the Emily's Wool Coat in dark green. Loving all of the green. So she's paying attention to the colors that I'm liking. It's $98. So I think that's a pretty good price for a wool coat. So I do like that the fur, my fur is more of the brown. Um, I like that this one is green and kind of matches the jacket. So since she sent me something similar to what I already own, she's doing a good job. It does zip up to, it's got the gold zipper somewhere around here. Can you see that? Oh no, there's the buckle detail. I was going to show you that next. So it's got the gold zipper, but it has these buckles. There's two of them. Um, so you can buckle it closed as well. I think it's kind of a fun look. If I were to keep this, I would size down. It does have pockets. I'm showing you that I think at some point during my try on. Um, it's a very nice and warm jacket. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. So you know, I really like it. If I didn't have a jacket in this color or if I needed another jacket, then I would keep it and, you know, size down. I think it's a nice jacket. What do you think about it, the color? I just love the color. <laughs> I really do. I love the color. I think it's so, so, so pretty. So yeah, I am going to send this one back. Nice job, Amanda, because number one, you're listening to the colors I like. And number two, you sent me something similar to what I have. So you know my style. All right, let's move on and see what the last piece looks like on. Okay, last up is this top by Pink Clover. Now, I love the colors in the stripes on the arms. Oh, I didn't tell you what it was. So this is the Pink Clover Brookie Brushed Knit Top in Dark Gray, $42 and the fabric. I think it's the material, the fabric that pills easily. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's small. Why is this so small? So the self is 73% polyester, 23% rayon, 4% spandex. The contrast is 84% polyester, 12% rayon, and 4% spandex. So that's the arms. So, you know, I think it's cute. It's more of a baseball style top, I'd call it. A casual top. I do like the brushed, like the heather gray look of it. I really think that's pretty. And like I said, I really like the colors of the stripes 
on the sleeves. I think the colors are gorgeous. And I like the color combinations together. I just don't know if this one screamed me either, or keep me, I should say. I like it, I don't love it. So I am gonna end up sending this one back too. But if you like this style top, although you know what, like I said, the like the body of the top feels like it would pill easily. The sleeves don't, because the sleeves are the different um, fabric, but the body of the top kind of feels like it would pill easily. So I don't know. So I like the colors, but I'm, not, I'm gonna send this one back too. I'm gonna be strong. Okay, I think that was it. So let's pop back on really quick and we'll do a quick recap. Okay, so the one top that I'm considering is this Fortune and Ivy blouse. So I, you guys, I love the color of this blouse. Oh, but you know what? In the back, it's not lining up either. Now I wouldn't be able to see the back of my own blouse, but I would know what's there. <laughs> But the only reason why I'm on the fence is number one, because of the pocket placement, which like I said, I, I haven't looked at it. I wonder if I could rip it off with a seam ripper. Don't worry, I won't do it unless I'm keeping it. <laughs> but I don't know, do I wanna keep something that I have to alter? Probably not, right? And yeah, the going down the middle, like where the buttons are, the pattern, the way it is, would that bother me? Kind of. I really like this top though. If it didn't have those two, I'm not going to call them flaws because it might not bother some of you. And I'm just a little extra crazy about, you know, the pattern, things lining up. <laughs> you guys know that. <laughs> so I think I might end up sending this whole box back. It wasn't a bad box at all. I have some things that are similar to items I already own. This could have been a winner if everything lined up correctly. The jacket could have been a winner if I didn't already have one like it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna send it back and just ask for another box. Quick turnaround, I mean. So let me know what you guys think. Send it back or hang on to it. I just love the pattern and I feel like it's different. Like I have a lot of florals. Okay, but then again, I'm thinking, I just recently told you guys, I have a lot of printed tops, I need more solids. So we're sending this back, I'm holding out. I'm gonna stay strong. <laughs> Okay, thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in my next video.